Welcome to the Once Upon a Sketch screencast. My name is Norman Grock, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Live Paint Bucket tool. In an earlier episode, I showed you how to create ink-looking lines in Adobe Illustrator. Well, today I'm going to show you how to color them. Here is the sketch that we started with, and here are the ink lines that we created in Illustrator. Let's get started. So we created all these wonderful looking ink lines in Illustrator. And one of the problems I've found with the Live Paint Bucket tool, if you just use it right away, all of these lines will go away. So what you need to do is select all and group it together. To do that, I do a Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC. Also, we need to now group it together. For Live Paint to work, it needs to think this is all one piece of artwork. Control G or Command G on a Mac and is now all one piece. Here is the trick. Duplicate this layer with your line work on it because what will happen is the Live Paint tool will get rid of all the wonderful line work that you've put down. Let me show you. So I'm going to hide that layer, and now we're going to get painting on this layer, and all that's on there is the line work. Go over to the Live Paint Bucket tool, click. What we want is a fill color. So I'm going to use this brown, muddy looking color. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to get rid of the black fill. Now I'm going to come over to my artwork, and I'm just going to click as you can see, when we applied the Live Paint tool, it got rid of the line quality that gave it that ink look. It is all now one weight. You could be using the Color Palette tool and selecting different colors for each area, but for my workflow, I just like to go over and get the colors blocked in and change the colors later. Now, when you're done with everything you want to paint, you need to go up to the group options and click expand. This essentially is telling Live Paint that you've colored everything you want and you're done. And now I see that I have a problem with the way that I've set up my screen recording. I need the main menu bar at the top of Illustrator, but it doesn't show up in here. So I need to come down and let's go to full screen menu bar. There it is. So what I need to do now is make a selection of just the line work so that we have just the, the black stroke. Go up under select, same, and I always select same fill and stroke. It selects everything with the black line and I delete it out because I don't need it anymore. Come over to our layers and show our line work again. And we've got all of the line work we had done earlier. Now let's adjust these brown colors. Over here I have a few colors I already selected. Let's bring them over and start filling in our character. You of course could be adding the colors as you go with Live Paint. But for me, it's easier for me to come up with a more interesting palette if I just lay down a flat color and then come back in and adjust the colors later. Oops, I need a new color for the tongue that I haven't spec'd yet. That looks good. There we go, a quick way using Live Paint to color our character in Illustrator. As you can see, I went ahead and finished coloring the entire character because there's one last thing I want to show you how to do. That is using the Blob Brush tool to fill in shadows and other colors. So to do this, I'm gonna go over to my layers and create a new layer. 
lock a few layers just to make sure that I'm not drawing on the wrong layer. I've got the new layer selected. Let's go over to the blob brush tool, select it, and now we need a color that uh, will fit with the skin tone that we've already selected. There we go, that'll work for right now. Select the blob brush tool and start painting in the area that we want. Oops, that's the wrong size brush. Let's go back to the brushes that we made and select the one that we used for the ink lines. And now let's go in and start painting. Oh, much better. You can, of course, change the brush size to whatever you want it to be. And as you can see, you start to add a lot of depth just by a few quick and easy strokes. I'll add some color under the neck just to make his head stand up a little bit more. There we go. And just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and add a deeper tone of his uniform just to make him make his head stand off a little bit more. Once again, you can adjust the brush size so that it's easier to paint these areas. There we go. Continue this over your whole drawing and you'll have a nice finished product. Thanks for watching. My name is Norman Grock. You can find links to my work at onceuponasketch.com and be sure to stop by our Facebook page and like us. Thank you very much. Happy sketching.